Hello everyone. My name is Dr. M. Shukanti, working as professor and head of the Department of EC from Mahindra College of Engineering, Salem, Tamil Nadu, India. I am extremely happy to present this lecture series on 4G and 5G communication networks. Throughout this lecture series, I will be guiding you through the concepts of 4G and 5G networks, exploring their architecture, features and applications, as well as discussing the latest trends, challenges, and innovations in this rapidly evolving field. Whether you are a professional looking to upskill, a student seeking to deepen your knowledge, or simply curious about the latest advancement in wireless technology, I welcome you to join me on this journey of discovery and exploration. First, we'll look into the introduction about the communication network. Communication network is a system that enables the exchange of information between the devices, people, or organization. It consists of hardware, software, and protocols that work together to transmit, receive, and manage data, voice, and video communication. There are various types of communication networks, wire, uh, wireless networks, uh, namely WLAN, Wi-Fi, and uh, cellular, and Wired networks, namely Ethernet, fiber optics, etc., and the computer networks, namely LAN, WAN, and the Internet, and the telecommunication networks, namely PSTN, ISDN, and Vivo IP. And there are various components in the communication networks devices. The devices what we are using in the communication network is the main device is the smartphones, computers, and servers. The transmission media, cables, fiber optics, and wireless are acting as the transmission media. And the switching systems are routers, switches, and hubs. The protocols, so what we are using in the communication networks are TCP IP, HTTP, and FDP, etc. The main characteristics of the communication networks are speed. The speed depends on what? Bandwidth and data rate. And reliability, it has been connected with the error reduction and correction. Security uh, is connected with the encryption and authentication. Scalability is being connected with the ability to grow and adopt. Hence, the communication networks plays a vital role in modern life, enabling the global connectivity, information sharing, e-commerce, remote work, and entertainment. Hence, understanding communication network is essential for building, managing, and using modern communication systems. Next, we'll move on to the evolution of mobile networks from 1G to 5G. This, all you know that, what is G stands for? This G stands for generation. Generation of what? Generation of wireless phone technology. So, there are various uh, types of generations are available 1G to 4G. This 1G, 1G is the analog network introduced in the year 1980s. It was the first generation of wireless communication technology utilizing analog signal transmission and to provide voice only services. This pioneering technology enabled mobile phone users to make and receive calls only but it lacked the capacity to support data and text messaging. The 1G network had limited capacity and coverage, often experiencing congestion and poor reception, particularly in the rural areas. This is one of the main drawback of this 1G network. Despite these limitations, 1G marked the beginning of mobile communication revolutionizing the way people connect and communicate on the go and paving the way for the development of subsequent generations of wireless technology. Next, we'll move on to the 2G and 2G, the another name of the 2G is the GSM. GSM means Global System for Mobile Communication. It was launched in the year 1990s. It was a significant upgrade from its the analog one, that is 1G, introducing digital voice and text capabilities. This second generation of wireless technology utilized circuit switched data transmission 
and employed FDMA and TDMA access technology to enable multiple users to share the same frequency band. With 2G, uh, users could enjoy improved voice quality and send and receive text messages and access data services at uh, speed of up to 64 kbps 64 kilobits per second although relatively slow by today's standards 2g data capabilities marked a significant milestone enabling services like uh, email fax and basic internet access so we were been using by using this technology only we people were using this internet technology and uh, setting the stages or uh, stage for the development of more advanced mobile technologies like 3g 4g and 5g next we are moving into the 3g the 3g we are calling it as umts what is umts universal mobile telecommunication system it was introduced in the year 2000s and marked a significant leap forward in wireless technology enabling this technology enabling packet switched data transmission and cdma access technology to support faster data rates data speeds up to 21 mpbs that is megabits per second this third generation of mobile technology facilitate the widespread of up adoption of multimedia services so we are using by using this technology we have been using the multimedia services including video calling this uh, by using this technology only video calling we were using and uh, mobile broadband and mobile internet revolutionizing the way people communicate and access information on the go with this uh, 3g user could enjoy a more seamless and interactive mobile experience with improved data speeds and capacity paving the way for development of more advanced mobile application and services and setting the stage for the next generation of wireless technology next the fourth type is the 4g we are calling it as long term evolution lte this network was introduced in the year 2000s it was the revolutionized mobile communication by providing even faster data speeds up to 1 gigabits per second gpbs and enabling seamless high definition video streaming and online gaming by using this technology only we people are using the online gaming this high speed mobile broadband technology supported the growing demand for cloud computing and iot devices so while using this uh, 4g only we are using the cloud computing and uh, iot devices while also improving network capacity and also the coverage with the 4g lte user experience a significant enhancement in mobile internet speed quality re and reliability facilitating widespread adoption of data intensive applications and services and paving the way for the next generation of wireless technology now we people are started using this 5g 5g the another name we can call it as the next radio it was launched in the year 2020s and uh, it represents the transformative leap in wireless technology delivering ultra fast data speeds up to 20 gigabits per second the previous one we are using only 1 gpps per second but in uh, 5g the speed is up to 20 gigabits per second and ultra low latency of uh, one less than one millisecond this next generation wireless technology enables massive machine type communication this mmtc to support the growing number of iot devices while also providing enhanced mobile broadband EBM, EBBB, that is enhanced mobile broadband for immersive applications like 4K video stream, 4K video streaming and virtual reality. 
Additionally, 5G, that is NR, next radio supports mission critical communications which require extremely reliable and fast connectivity, making it a critical enable, enabler for applications like autonomous vehicle, this uh, 5G technology. Autonomous vehicle, smart cities and remote healthcare with the with its uh, unparalleled speed, capacity and reliability, 5G, that is next to radio, is poised to revolutionize numerous industries and aspects of our life. Hope you enjoyed the evolutions of uh, this uh, 1G to 5G network. The remaining things uh, we'll discuss in the next video lecture. Thank you.